All right, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> it's Radar, and I'm back in a brand new game. This is Hellion, it's an amazing space adventure game, and I'm we're actually you know joined today with uh, Dragon Hunter sixty four. What's up, Dragon Hunter? What's up? What's up, everyone? How are y'all doing today? <laughs> Alrighty, I'm already in game. Uh, we're actually playing on a private server. This is uh, the one and only amazing Epictetus' server. Uh, link to his uh, YouTube channel is down below. Make sure you stop by and give him some love. And here we are. Oh, look how beautiful this game is. Uh, the vanilla pressure suit. Alright, now, uh, Dragon Hunter and I have been playing this game for a while now, and I finally decided to uh, start streaming it. And honestly, Hunter, uh, I think for once, I'm going to keep this little, uh, the single life pod command area. Because oh, the crew quarters? The really? Crew quarters. Yeah, because there's some stuff that we can put in here that we can't put anywhere else. And I think... That's, that's true, that's... Yeah, like, uh, on an official server that, you know, Dragon Hunter and I, um... Do you mind if I just call you Hunter? That's fine. Okay, cut. Cool. Alright, Hunter. So, yeah, it, there's some stuff that we, you know, can only get... In, in place in here so I think that's gonna be a lot of fun so if you want to grab your outpost and airlock and then I'll grab my crew quarters I think we'll be set All right, sounds good to me. On. Uh, take my helmet off because I really don't need that now and don't forget to check your uh, crew quarters for your uh... oh yeah I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even press the button this time, I forgot about it. <laughs> no big deal, and for any of you guys who are looking into playing, the, the first car pod you enter, <clears throat> there is a button on the inside of it right there, and you hit that and it opens up a secret compartment. It was actually so secret that the devs actually had to release a note stating, hey, this is there. Yep. So it looks like we got another, uh... We got another, you know, follower here, Mr. I Spy Roll 7 What is up, man? Let's just double check, make sure we got everything out of here. All right. We got these blast doors that we can open and shut. That's, uh, we're gonna have so much fun with this. Uh, we have no power. Kind of concerns me just a hair. You know, your solar panels probably aren't deployed yet. One light. Right. Hey, this is fantastic. I opened up my. Um... Storage boxes over here. I have two catalysts already. Two catalysts? Awesome. We're gonna need those. Uh, okay. Let's take a look. See what all we have. I'm gonna grab. I need to grab everything out of here. Go ahead and power the power up. I already got a catalyst in my solar array. That's cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. No sun okay. exposure. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm not going to be grabbing my outpost, so I'm just going to loot this thing for everything that it's worth. Okay, so we're just doing my outpost with the airlock, and then you Are you grabbing your airlock as well? Uh, we really don't have anywhere to put it, and airlocks are pretty easy to find, so... I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to go ahead and dock my airlock to the act. Dr. Airlock where?
Well, let me see. I don't know what's happened, why I can't hear him, so let me see if I can text him. Alright, I'm just long going around here right now. I'm I hear you now. Hey, that's IT step number one. Come on, man. <laughs> that's where I went uh first after undocking my crew quarters. Like I said, like he did, I found some ammo. Unfortunately, hold on, let me look down here. This is where it's, nope. I have a resource injector. I did not get a core containment field generator for my ship. But that resource injector helps nonetheless. So, let me now head out and dock my airlock. Okay. Oh, very, very likely. <laughs> Um, I mean, I do, but I was actually going to try a different name this time, just because it seems like every time I, I name my ship the Royal Fortune, something happens to it. I know what you mean. It really is. It, I mean, it's still in early development. It has its issues, of course, as you would expect with an early development game. But they've come a they've come long way since when we first got it. And, and I have really high hopes for this game. Uh, that that still happens sometimes. It, it happened to me the other day. <laughs> yes, that that is a huge improvement for me because it just the airlocks took so long to depressurize and pressurize before. I mean, I understand like you know the bridge and all that. Yeah, it's gonna take longer. It's a larger area, but. Airlocks really shouldn't take that long.
Okay, you just got my airlock. Ooh, had a little bit of damage on my ship. It's usually the, uh, well, I need to claim this ship first. Probably not in your ship to start off with. I'm not going to um, announce the name of my ship just yet. I will wait and let you discover that. That works for me. I'm going to go ahead and add you to my ship crew. That's about um, par for the course. You know, starting off, you usually end up being in the debris field. Yep. The, the stations that haven't uh, been moved, the people that aren't there to keep it up, it, it gets rid of them. Everything's looking good down here, so I'm going to go ahead and dock my ship up. Okay, don't forget, because you're not grabbing your outpost. Yeah, don't forget to get that plasma injector. Well, it usually is. That's, that's a star for you. Oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a pretty good idea, especially, you know, you could take a base and as best as you can at least kind of split it down the middle and, you know, use two ships to transport the whole thing. There we
Yeah. Really? Nice. What'd you do? Alright, and I now have my ship docked. I am ready to go as soon as you are. Let me see here. I'm going to Let's see. Do I? I do have a catalyst out there, so I'm going to go put one out here on the ship. I'm going to turn off my fusion reactor now that my capacitors are fully charged, and stop using up that energy. I know on our other server it's uh, plenty, but right now it's too precious. Mm -hmm. You start off with about a little less than I would say a third of a tank. It's about I think it's like thirty or thirty-two or something out of a. Total capacity of a hundred. But unless you get a resource injector, it burns eight an hour, so well we could be wrong in saying this, but I'm gonna go ahead and say jewels. Although it's probably actually more likely to be like megawatts or something like that. But I like the energy of jewels.
Now, what are you grabbing onto the outpost for? Just get away quicker? What are you going to the uh, RCS panel on the outpost for? Oh, okay. Command center. Crew quarters? <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> All right, let's see. I got one spare warp cell. I'm going to put that in my engine. Mm, yes. Yes. You can actually grapple onto the ship's grapple using that. Yeah, I've done it before. I, I just wanted to do it to try it and then said, hey, that's cool. I love that you can do that. Mm -hmm. You just Yeah, you just have to get right up to it and then the grapple comes out. Uh, I think I just entered it. Yep. Sitting in my... Uh, pilot seat I can sit here and just watch debris fly right towards my face What'd you try? What'd you do?
All right. Well, let me see. I put in capacitor. Let's see what my energy output is right now. Nice, nice. Everything not bolted to the floor. <laughs> Another one of my favorite sayings that comes up every so often in my D and D group is, "Throw everything at everything at them, even the kitchen sink." I'd never heard it before. One of our, one of our more recent sessions, like. About a month ago, I think it was. And at first, all he mentioned was kitchen sink. And I was just looking at him really confused. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then he explained it. I was like, oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, you definitely use it more often than some other things. we lose pressure or if we get a whole breach that yeah, that's bad but it's not nearly as used as the air, fil um, air filter is on half as much as it's on on half as much as it's off Mr. I'm a terrible speller. True. Like, oh, it's just, you know, I mean, it's a full warp cell. I mean, hell, that's going to last a while, right? No. Not even a little. <laughs> oh, it's two Fs, not two Ls. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't remember how to spell Eiffel Tower. Yes, yes I am. If I could get my game to react to me. I mean, where we normally set up is really, it's good. Especially for this starting off, it gives us good access to everything. I want to make sure I'm not... Okay. What do you mean I don't make good orbits? You haven't said anything about the orbit on our other server. What's wrong with it?
Don't do that. You hate that planet. Just let me know whenever you arrive and I will lock on a course. We definitely had worse jumps. That uh that that nineteen minute jump was just man. That was a tier four one wasn't it when we did that yeah the only the only thing about it is it did use less fuel it still takes a long time but it uses less fuel Will you ever quit bringing that up? I'm, I'm, I'm upset. I, I'm wanting to go to another doomed outpost and hopefully get another one. I said hopefully. Oh, okay. Oh, um, for some reason I thought my dog was outside because I heard him breathing and he, he usually if he's like outside the room or whatever, he'll sniff under the door. And I was like, I can't believe I left him outside. You know, outside my room, not outside, outside. And... I look down, he's laying there, passed out on the blanket on the floor. How far out are you? All right. Let me lock in a course. I do not know why it does not show your ship's name yet on here. Alright, I can reach there. So let's reduce that time. Oh, it might help if I turn my FTL drive on. Yeah, distress calls usually are pretty much bait. Trying to lure people in. Don't trust them. <laughs> Ever. 
What do you mean insufficient power? I was generating excess power though. Oh, that's why. No sun exposure. Because I moved around to the other side of the planet. We go to turn my outpost and airlock off to use as little energy as I can while I try to recharge my capacitors real quick. In fact, I'm going to turn my ship off too just to give it that boost. I actually saw you talking about that on there. They were really cool about it. And that one person said it probably improved some. <laughs> Capacitors are almost ready. Oh, great. Awesome. I finally got sun exposure again, so that's going to help a lot. About doubled my energy output from what it was. I got lucky and got those two catalysts, so I'm putting out quite a bit of energy. It just didn't help having no sun exposure, because the only thing powering me at that time was my fusion reactor. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if I will be able to make a warp right now, though. We'll have to see. Might have to make a long warp, just because of where I am in relation to... The station, maybe not, or to you rather. Oh no, I have to use both, I think. Yeah, it's going to have to be a slightly longer jump. I warp it in 40 seconds. Because I'm basically going to be skimming right past the planet. It, it's, it's a good enough distance away that I'm not going to hit it, but... If I did a shorter jump, I would have. Initializing warp, I will arrive in three minutes. I'm actually going to take a screenshot, and I will share that distance with you over Discord.
if I could find where my stream screenshots are, that is. Not my stream, my Steam. It's almost the same word. Well, apparently I can't do it right now, but... I'll show it to you later. If I were to drop out of warp right now, I'd probably have about five seconds before I hit the planet. And I have gone past the closest point, and I'm... Making my way downtown. Yep. <laughs> you know me. Which right now should still be an unstable one, right? Yep. I would I would make a long journey around to the other side of the planet before crashing into it. Yep. I got forty five seconds before I drop out of warp. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Seven kilometers out. Okay, I'm just aligning my ship right now. Okay, and accelerating. Um, I might just because you asked. Accelerating. Nope. Yep. All right. Decelerating to fifty meters per second, two kilometers out. I don't see you. I see I see your shit, but I don't see you. You're too small. All right, decelerating, making final approach. Outpost. Okay, 300 meters. OK, 
Okay, making final deceleration. Hold on, I'm gonna have to manually match target because it's not giving me the option. actually detached. I right, give me a second. enough to match. One hundred and thirty meters, you shouldn't. See your crew core, your crew core module on my radar. Oh yeah, I see that. Nice. <laughs> well, your ship has the uh, plasma injector. There to match course, but it took it a while before it finally decided to do it. Right, 
pressurizing my airlock now. Okay. Making my way to the no more now. Almost. All right. I'm, yep. Right, Helmet's off. Always check uh, carbon filters. Make sure they're in good order. Mm, can't take it for granted. I think Everest would be good because they might have um, something that we need there. Yeah. I will be right back.
All right, I am back. Got two minutes. Where are we headed? Okay. Yep. We can go ahead and try because sometimes it's in the T corridor, sometimes it's in the uh, corridor heading to the power module. If it's in the one heading to the power module, we would be fine. If we're careful. No idea. Um, maybe it's because of all the graphics to make the warp uh, bubble field whatever you want to call it I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the rifle is that where I got ammo? Yep. I'm hop downstairs. Yeah. Okay. It's pressurizing. Um, yes. This is, though, the first time we've come in where I've seen these cargo bay doors shut. I figured it spawned in open because of the fact there was a turret, though. Yeah. It's hard to tell because it we're we have sunlight, so oh, helmet on. Yeah, we have sunlight, so it's hard to tell, it's hard to see those lights. Okay. I'm going to go hop out. Okay, let me see what's going on out here. Okay, 
because cargo bay door is closed as expected. So I'm good there. You don't have any defenses right now, though. Okay, fine. You don't have an offense right now. I see a turret down here, but it's sitting there like it's not working. There's actually... okay. I'm in the power supply module. I have an EM field controller. I have no idea what that is. Reduces power consumption by 2 in here and they're both sitting there like they're turned off. I just did. Hey, check it out. Really? Quit pushing me. I am going to come over here and grab this singularity cell detonator up here. I'm still curious. I've never seen one of these before. It says it reduces power consumption by 20%, but power consumption for what? Are you dead? You got a little too... Uh, Comfortable. So apparently turrets aren't turned off. to try and get back over there and bring the ship back without getting shot by this turret. Okay. But I should be able to get back to... Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. I'm alive. The turret that killed you is just going insane. And I found out they're able to shoot through like the T module because they clip outside of it. So they only go through the one side, you know, the back end. But it's also not like it's aiming at me, it's just going insane. It's spinning in a circle shooting at nothing in particular. All right. All right, I've gotten back inside the airlock. Not that it's like I need to use the airlock. 
but I need to go close that cargo bay door so I can pressurize the ship. Pressurize the ship. And now I found the singularity cell detonator, so I'm going to put that bad boy in its slot so I can actually get back to the base a lot faster than it took us to get out here. But, I know Radar will, I know he will want me to scan the area to see if there's any modules nearby that we might want. For example, the command module. So let me do that real quick. Okay, there's actually a command module right there, I believe. That's what that is. It says CM. It's another one over there. Crew course, I'm going to go over to th this one. Warp over to it. All right, 35 seconds till I get to the command module. Nice. Um, actually, no, I'm 12 seconds till I drop out of warp going to pick up a command module. Warped in 6.8 kilometers. I kind of had to. It took me forever to get spun around to where I was aligned with it, so I had like two seconds and I wasn't worried about getting a perfect alignment, so. Okay. Accelerating. There's also a derelict out here. I figure I may as well go ahead and loot that. There might be some good in it. Okay. 
Let me accelerate a little bit faster. Oh, yeah. There's one in my ship. No, wait. Well, there is, but it's in my air filtration unit. Especially when we decide to hit Everest. Oh, yeah. All right, I've almost reached it. I'm 500 meters away from it. Okay, allow me to match target to it, please. Nice. Oh, cool. I know, right? Whenever I logged in after the big update for the first time, I'm, that's, I still wanted to grab my cup and it wasn't there anymore. lined up with the port I'm gonna go outside and fix a little bit of damage before I head out just to try and ensure it'll survive the trip Because I'm, I'm actually in a pretty bad debris field. Whenever I first pulled up the dock, one of the the thing I actually had selected first was um, large debris. I was like, okay, oh. I'm not gonna try to dock with that. All right, I've docked to the command center. There's a pretty big hole. I 
I may not even be able to repair it completely, but it should be enough to get it through. Where's that? Okay. All right. Nice. I got two warp cells in it. It's at twenty one and one's at twenty eight. It's whole integrity, but I'm out of uh, fuel for my welding gun, so there's really nothing I can do about it right now. Got some ammo. Yeah, I had three in my um, crew quarter module, so. I grabbed them all and said, all right. Okay. Let me go find this real quick. That might have something good in it. Another warp cell. What's this one? 28. Awesome, awesome. Ooh, a disposable hacking tool. And an advanced impact. Ooh, and more ammo, and another advanced impact. This was a good idea to come to this derelict. Alright, that's that. It's time to get back to the ship. And I will be there pretty soon, it shouldn't take that long. Or it might take like a minute or something like that. I don't remember how long it takes, but should be fairly quick. Right. First rise in the airlock. take this one and this one put them in there stand up he's acting like it was a goblin all righty 
FTL. One second. Turn FTL on. I don't remember turning it off, but whatever. Uh. All right, and home station. For some reason, it says the crew quarters module doesn't say anything about the outpost. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Going at warp three. Don't think so because it doesn't have a fusion reactor. One second. I gotta see something. Okay, not going at warp three because it's impossible right now. Because we don't have a core containment field generator, so don't even have enough charge. Yeah. Warp 2 uses 2,000, though. That's an entire charge. I don't know if it will work. We will see. I said warp 2. All right, 25 seconds to warp. Wait, maybe. Um, nope, just kidding. It's not gonna work. Well, I'm just gonna have to wait a second because right now I'm just not in a good position to get there. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, now I should be able to go. But as it was, whenever I first did it, I was going I was going right through the planet. So yeah, that's not gonna work. But now I've gotten around the orbit well enough. Initializing warp. I will be there in two and a half minutes.
So did I. I want to mean for me. <laughs> I do not have any charge on my capacitors right now. Yes. But apparently you can't do warp 2 with this either. Because even though you have the fusion reactor turned on, you still are going to a point where you have no power. And that instantly turns it back off. So, I'm just going to have to come in at warp 1. Let's get back to the NCC. Hell, I'm just going to call it the Enterprise. That's what the designation means. Okay, I'm going to see how my capacitors are doing so far. Almost ready. Yep. Right, and initialize. Entering warp in 40 seconds. I'll be there in four and a half minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Three minutes and twelve seconds. Notice that at all. All right, two minutes. <clears throat> Ooh. Ow, that hurt. Yep. Hmm. I really don't know. Thirty seconds. Sounds good to me. Ooh, twenty seven kilometers. Why are you? Oh, okay. moving everything around. We're attaching one thing to another. The airlock's moving, but... I'll depressurize it, though, anyways, because the uh, command module has no pressure. We're gonna have to run the air generators, though. Okay. Accelerating. Okay. Hundred and fifty meters per second, twenty five kilometers out. One
All right, I'm back. And I am seven and a half clocks out. Any what? Hmm. Any what? The stream has audio on me. Decelerating. Decelerating. What's up? So far, I haven't heard it. Yeah, I hear me, but I don't hear you. Okay, I am one kilometer out. Decelerating? Okay. Ah, oh, there, now that works. Try it down a bit. Okay. Yay! Uh, I think it's working now. Yep. Okay. All right. Yay! Technical difficulties. All right. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and go mute that again. I'm here. I've matched uh, speed with the outpost. Okay. I'm 122 meters away. All right. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll go ahead and disengage the grappler. 
I just released the airlock. Upside down. Let me flip around real quick. Okay. Stay clear. Relatively clear. Alright. There we go. That's better. Okay. Awesome. Audio. We got a command module. You're not lagging on the stream. Knock on some wood. Quit barking. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really bark, but you did that. Little... <laughs> I heard something. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna put the airlock on dock C. Okay. Because you're docked up to B, so. The airlock will be on C, so the outpost will be on A. Yep. Oh, rubber band, rubber band. Yeah, I had a little bit of rubber banding, whatever. I was trying to connect, or not connect it. Match speed earlier. <laughs> I didn't actually get to look at this plan that you made. I like this applet, this game tool that you had, that you found, or that the, I don't know where you got it from. Uh, someone on Epic Tetis is what uh, one of the, one of his crew. They uh, shared that, and I was like, "Wow, that is really cool." It is really neat, especially so early in the game for them to have something like this. I have a feeling it's a third party, but... Well, I know, but for this this to be something that is there. Alright, do you want to go ahead and grab the outpost and start moving it over, or...? Okay. And that way, with, you, with uh, the no more docked up right there, we can test to make sure that... Uh, um, your ship can grapple while we are uh... it should as long as the outpost is facing the right direction yeah I have to go out there and see which uh, which way it needs to face it should be good All right, airlock is attached. Okay, so the one end needs to be there. So, oops, I hit the ship with my body as I was backing away, not with anything. I was backing away from the command center. Went boop. I'm gonna go grab some stuff out of the ship because I had another welding tool that was empty, but we should have a little bit of stuff. Oh, you didn't depressurize the ship? Not the ship, why? Mm. Okay, I'm approaching the outpost now. To do to do Yoink. This. down 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 oh, oh. okay yeah I'm gonna have to move the uh, crew quarter over to the other side okay
Did you claim the outpost already? Nope. Alright, I'll take care of that then. Oh, that is a huge hole in the ship. Okay. Let me head to the outpost first and recharge this repair gun. Oof. Rubber banding. Yep, excuse me. Excuse me. Yunk. Open. 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 I said open. Oh. What? Rubber banding really bad. I'm gonna put 40 in here. I'm gonna go out the other side. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See, I'm considerate. So, are you excited about the new ship that they're uh, designing? The uh, stirrups, yeah. Um, I'm really excited to see. Because it's basically, from what I've read, it's supposed to be mostly like a mining ship. And I'm really excited to see how they're going to implement it as that. Um, like, what's going to be different about it and all that. I mean, obviously, I know from the design it's going to be a lot smaller, for sure. So, I don't know if it's going to have basically maybe entire, um, let's see, CQM, CQM, CM, fucking port A, okay. Yeah, maybe it's going to have, um, more, like, shelves where you can store your canisters, or maybe it would be yet. just a, like you can mine while on the ship. I don't know from the design that they've showed so far. It didn't look like it had that ability. And it doesn't look to have any external um, drill or anything on it. But we'll see. All right. I'm naming this station. And I'm going to name it after uh, the book that I've been reading. Lately, is called Galaxy's Edge, and one of the main characters is Captain Wraith. Well, it's Captain Ford, but his call sign's Wraith. So. I am moving in the wrong direction. I'm going to add Commander Kitten. And crew member. I'm going to add Epictetus. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Rubber band. Nice. Really good. There we go. Captain Wraith Station. Yeah. He was... Oh, I'm lagging. My stream's lagging. Why you lag? Okay. Do you want to be nice now? Okay, I am bringing the outpost in, nearly aligned. Okay. 
We've got the uh, command module at about 80%, so. Okay. Check, see if I can find any more damage or if it's all going to be on the exterior of the ship. Oops. Feel like it's one. all going to be. There's as much stuff as I can. Alright, outpost is now docked. Nice. I'm going to run over to the Enterprise and keep it from drifting away. Okay. I'm just looking for damage on the outpost, or the command center. Uh oh, hold I need to get to my ship fast. Why, you almost out of oxygen? I am out of oxygen. Oh no. Uh, I have some uh, canisters, if you want to come to me, I'm at the... Uh, Wait, I got... Okay, I had a canister on me. Okay. And that's why we always keep canisters on us. I'm going to use this one too, because... <sighs> okay, much better. Alright, I'm going to dock the uh, No More up to the airlock. So you okay. Can t so you can take this spot. Or the one opposite it. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm concerned. I don't know. I might have to take the one opposite just because of the way you will be facing. I may have to. We'll have yeah. to see. Worst case scenario, we can undock the uh, uh, crew quarters module and just have you uh, latch onto that point. You know what I mean? Yeah. So dark. Ooh, hold on. Let's shut that off. That don't need to be on right now. Neither does my FTL drive. I said turn it off. Airlock module. Whoa, tripping me out. Why? <laughs> Rotating so fast. Yeah, yeah. Do what you gotta do. I wish with the grapple that it didn't matter which way you were facing. Yeah. Like instead of having to be up and down, why can't I go at it sideways? Where my ship would be in relation to the command center, it would be vertical as opposed to horizontal. Ooh, this rubber band is real. pilot seat now. All right. I'm going to start pressurizing the base. Wait, don't do it yet. What do you mean don't do it yet? I won't be able to get in if you do it. Yeah, you will. How? 
I'll depressurize whatever corridor you're in and then repressurize it once you, uh... Mm. We'll make our own airlock module. Do some damage. Epic Tech just went, Epic Titus just went live on Twitch. Oh, nice. Oh, I just fell down the stairs because I'm silly like that. What stairs? Uh, back on my ship. Finishing topping off the air. Yeah. Just finishing off uh, pressurization, and okay. we are good. We have. I am grappled. All right. Just tell me what side you're coming into, and I'll depressurize that area. B. Yep. Alright. Depressurizing B. Alright, so mm. point four, three, two, one. Alright, corridor B is depressurized. Alright. Let me know when you're inside. I will. Okay. Now my airlock. All right, I'm inside. Alrighty. Repressurizing. Yeah, are the doors shut? Yep. Oh, I was trying to... Uh, never mind. Alright, you should be at 3 bar. 5 bar, 7 bar, 8 bar. Eight. 1. Full pressure. It looks like the entire outpost is under pressure. Nice. We've done it. There we go. Don't forget to uh, set your spawn. Confirm. Spawn point is set. Nice. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, unload my ship because we had uh, a whole bunch of stuff inside the ship and you didn't even know about it. What? I had stuff in my ship's cargo bay. Like like my cargo hold, not the actual. <clears throat> okay. Okay.
Why did I come over here? This is not where I needed to go. I was right next to where I needed to go. Oh, don't forget we got to uh, unload the no more. Unload it from what? I had some stuff down bottom. Jerk. <laughs> you didn't want to wait for me. What's down here? Yeah, a couple of cargo uh, canisters and. Alright, not on my screen. Oh, I guess what you need to do then. Alright. Alright. Uh, my stream is lagging again. This seems to be good. No more. Uh, let's top off this fuel tank first. There we go. Do do do. People talking in, in chat. That's what we need. And 100%. Really wish this door would open. Let me double check. Yep, stream still looking good, looking strong. Yep. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Let's see here. Oh, my stream is lagging again. Carbon filters. Helmet and a pressure suit and a jetpack. Yep. All right. Stream's still lagging. Really wish I knew why I did this. It'd be nice.
Should sure you put those warp cells up? Yes. Nice. Alrighty. Well, whenever you're ready, we can go hit up Everest Station. Sounds like a plan, Stan. <laughs> Turning on shipboard power. Let's see, I got... We have to look this up because it's really bothered me. What's that? What does this thing do? Um, what is it going? I'm pretty sure it goes for the uh, the ship's engines, like the big engines that we never turn on because they scare us. Don't scare us. We just don't really ever have the use for them. Yeah. Okay. Well, whenever you're ready. I am in the command seat. I'm going to close and lock this door. Eh, I really don't need to lock it. Yeah, well. Like I said, th this server is super friendly, so... Let's have it. <laughs> yeah. Okay... Airlock doors are closed. Alright. And we are undocked. Wunderbar. Moving us away from the station for a safe warp away. Alright. Okay. Let's uh, do a quick scan, see what we got. Not see anything. We might be too far away. No, maybe, yes, no, yep. I believe we're too far away to see yes, anything. No, maybe so. Alright, well, let's go hit Everest, shall we? Okay, so I see for your plan that you have laid out over here, we we're supposed to have another outpost. Yeah. And an... all right, this is going to be a yeah. long jump simply because we don't have the core containment field. Yeah. Oh, that's a failed jump. <laughs> Couldn't find out where I wanted to go. Okay. be entering warp in 15 seconds. Alright. 10 seconds. 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Initializing warp. 5 minute jump. Alright. I'm going to turn the reactor online. Okay. 
Well, we need a core containment field generator. <laughs> Absolutely. Which we should find one at Everest. We should. Um. Oh, I have plenty of ammo to put up. Okay. All right. Core containment field is our uh, fusion reactor is online. Uh, I probably should have topped off my tanks before we left. What do I get for not thinking ahead? Right, I'm gonna swap out this jetpack. See, we got six extra mags in the supply. Yeah, I figure we'll go ahead and fill up this one first because um, it's easier to see. And then this one, these three right here, is where we'll put our sniper rifles once we get them. Okay. Because they they require different ammo, so. Yes. That'll be set. Plus, I mean, that's only got three on that rack. This one can hold five, so. Oh, there's pistol ammo in here already. Huh. Yeah, I, I just put one in there. Oh, nice. Neat. Cool. Because I found four uh, rifle ammo and one handgun. So I said, I got plenty of ammo to put up. <laughs> Alrighty. Three and a half minutes. Now we're going to have to get three basketball hoops and three basketballs. You realize this? Three. Yeah, one for your ship, one for my ship, and then one for the outpost. Yeah. Oh, my stream is lagging again. Why, stream? Why must you lag? Okay. See, I'm not even, I'm, well, hold on, now it's loading, okay. Yeah, but it is lagging. Yeah. Let me try this, you're, you're watching the stream right now, aren't you? Yep. How about now, is it, is it lagging now? Uh, yes. I'm trying all different things to try and prevent it from lagging. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Dr. Pepper. Okay. Hmm. That's true. That's something I was going to do and I forgot what it was. I don't know. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Y'all pick me. Oh, I mean, didn't even notice there's been so many messages going on. Yeah. Ooh, one minute, twelve seconds till we exit warp. Yep, ten. Pressurizing the ship. Alrighty. Uh, looks like we're going to be entering the debris field right as we get here. Okay. Oh, yeah, power supply module, though. Cargo bay cool. module. Uh, fabrication module. Nice. I know what we're getting. <laughs> derelicts, 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 derelicts. Alright. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Almost on. Helmet on. Doesn't look like your stream is lagging anymore either. That's good. Maybe it just doesn't like warp. 
All right. Oh, yeah, we came in real close. Yep. <laughs> it's a rare day whenever I don't get us super close. There we go. Let's move us in, shall we? Let's see. You're not going to die or walk through a door again, are you? No, I'm not almost dead already. Alright. Alright, looks like we got some large pieces of debris coming in. Mm-hmm. Alright. No one's going to hit the station. That one might nope, hit us. Right past. All right, All right. tapped it. All right, matching speed. Station's rotating a little bit. Ooh, gravity's on in here. Good. All right, I'm gonna get us. station is rotating, so I'm going to stay inside yep. the ship. You just worry about keeping the ship nearby. No I have nothing. three Proteus helmets right here in this first room. Nice. Alright. And a Proteus EVA suit in here. Nice. Uh, see if you can... Is there a, if there's a core containment field module. Try and get that to the ship first. Oh. I'm backing away from the station. Backing away. Backing away. What happened? Uh, something exploded underneath it and sent it to a spin right towards us. Alright. I'm about 79 meters away. While we're in a brief field, this is about as close as I want to get. Okay. We're not even in the deepest part of the debris field yet. Okay. Okay. CSM. It's got in it. Nitro. Alright. Station's taking a little bit of a beating. No containment field modules yet? Not yet. Boy, we've got the Proteus suits in here, though. Haven't found any jetpacks yet, but there's helmets galore, and I found three uh, pressure suits so far. Nice. Right electronics, there we go. Yeah, because we're going to be picking up a uh, fabrication module here very shortly. found one core containment field generator. current orbit we're not passing through the, the the bad part of the debris field for a while so getting a little bit hot uh, 
I'm gonna run out there and help you out a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Well, we're not passing through the deep stuff. Still. Th th this side of the orbit, yeah. Just a second ago, we had that really bad. Yeah. Well, I'm not going too far. Oh, great. My suit power is almost done. I'll grab another suit. It's weird that none of the T2 modules spawned. Usually this is the place to go for T2s. We got T2 stuff. There's no field containment modules. My stream's lagging because I'm running. <laughs> Another welding gun, because we need it. Uh, more Proteus EVA suits. In fact, I've already upgraded the ship's uh, power output. Nice. Worst case scenario, we'll build a uh, core containment module. Yeah. This is a dead welder. Some nitro. Check out the life support modules at all? Yeah. I went everywhere in there to look for that first. Check the uh, supervisor's office. Okay. Nothing. Okay, first load is done. All right, we still got we got some helmets and pressure suits over here. Mm-hmm. So there's a bunch. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these pressure suits. Okay. I know how much you love your Proteus suits. Well <laughs> better oxygen capacity. explosion just happened right in front of us. Yep, station spinning. Back going running back up to the command seat. Okay. 
I'm not gonna have time to send the, the elevator back down for you. It's fine. Don't particularly need it right now. Yep. Station's spinning pretty out of control at the moment. Uh, leaving the vessel would not be advised. What vessel? Or leaving the station right now would not be advised. Too bad. Okay, well, it's spinning pretty bad. And I'm on the ship now. Alright. Bring us back in. Seems like this, the rotations calmed down. Uh, hold on, we're upside down. Crap, solar panel oh, failure. Lovely. We'll be fine. Right. How many more okay. trips do you think you need? No. It's a hard thing to say. Station just got hit. It flung it right into me. I had to back away quick. Right. Oh, oh, we're full on oxygen. And nearly full on RCS. Stations out there spinning. Yep, I see that. I'm not going to attempt to go to it right now. Okay. Yeah, we're just on the leading edge of the debris field. All right. All right, stop spinning. All right, let me orient. Let, let me get us reoriented. Oh, uh, you're already left. Yep. Trying to be quick. Yep. station just got hit again so it's rotating again apparently we're full on helium 3 too we are? yeah cause it's not taking any more oh yeah wow okay that works
catalyst. You still on the ship, or? Nope, I'm on the station. Alright, bringing us back around to it. Or I'm going to move in close to it again. Got another hit. All right, we're gonna have to bug out here soon. Ship's down to eighty-one percent. Okay. Done rotating? No. Mm -mm. Right, rotation slowed down. Yeah, we're not even in the debris field proper. We're like on the outside edge of it. All right. Need you to hurry up so we can go get one of these uh, fabrication modules before they're destroyed. I'm heading over the ship right now with my last load. I'm on. You're on board? Yep. All right. It's power 1.13. Let's fix that real quick. Now 1.58. All right. Entering warp in seven. Okay. Entering warp, 30 second jump. All right. Okay, wow. Oh, that w we haven't had in, uh, a journey there that intense in a while. Yeah. All right. 15 seconds. But I need to... My oxygen is low. There we go. second. Go back down. Alright, we're out of warp. Alright, 1.2 kilometers away. Do you have a welding gun on you? I do. Does it have any charge? Yeah. Okay. I'll, so go, I I'll go repair it while you uh, loot the derelict. Okay. Six hundred meters away and closing. Okay. Three hundred meters. Two hundred meters. Okay. Go ahead and hop out there a lot. 
Target matched, 86 or 68 meters away. And it's only like 90 something for, to get to your derelict. Yeah, I'm already almost there. Nice. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, let me repair the ship first, because that's a pretty big hole. Got a jetpack. Uh, Prometheus or regular? Regular. Okay. It's not that bad. Got a good charge and good amount of fuel and stuff, so. I don't know how much. I only got. Yeah. I gotta repair some stuff on the ship. be good enough. Oh, I got three percent on my welding gun. I hope this thing isn't down. Oh, yeah, it has a pressure leak right there. Atmospheric leak. Alright, I'm done. I'm gonna head over back to the ship. Alright, well, I got a Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just RCS this thing, and then I'm going to, uh, yeah, I have an idea. Okay. Well, I will be right back. Alright. I'm back. All right, I'm on final approach now. I'm gonna go ahead and start pressurizing ship. Uh, I'd hold I'm off on. Why? Uh, go ahead and go ahead and redeploy the solar array as well. It should be repaired enough. Why wouldn't I pressurize the ship? I don't know if it's uh has any air leaks or not. It doesn't. Okay. The life support panel tells you if it does. Okay, well, there was a huge hole in the ship I just repaired, so. You repaired it? Yeah, I just don't know if I got all the holes. Alright. Hole integrity is at 97%. Okay. Alright. What the heck is going on? I Hunter, get on the docking port of the ship and get on the grappler, please. Okay. Thank there. you. All right. Just took a little finagling. Yeah. But I'm about to cheat a little bit. Hmm. All right. 
jetpack. Some shattered, a lot of shattered plating. That's good. Nice. All right, let me take this. Look it up there. Take out 80 hydrogen from the uh, ship and dump it into my gun. <laughs> I win. It's not cheating. That's using your uh, resources. No. Repairing on the fly. All right. Whole integrity is at 67%. All right. Get the internal stuff all done. Let me get outside. Prepare some of the out the ex exterior stuff. Ay ay ay. Close this hole in the one that was venting at mode. See, what if I got that? Okay. air. There it is. All right. Got that repaired up quite a bit. Heading back to the ship. Alright. While I'm out here, I might as well patch up these solar arrays back to full. Right. Can you uh, redeploy the solar arrays? I already did. I don't see him out. I don't know why it wasn't out. I deployed it already. It might have taken a little bit of damage and then gone offline. Repressurizing airlock. <sighs> Light off. Helmet off. Jetpack off. We can only pressurize to 0 0.7. What? Why can we only pressurize to 0 0.7? The entire ship is only pressurized to 0 0.7. Probably because it's not fully pressurized yet. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's take our bounty home. So what was on the derelict again? Pretty much nothing. Had a jet pack. Mm. And an AC battery pack. Okay. Two, one. All right. 
Yep. Okay. Woo! We got a command module and a fabrication module. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what do we have? Two, 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 two. I don't have any more. Let go of me. I have a feeling we are going to uh, have to make a field containment module. Not that big of a deal, not ideal, but yeah, we can do it. At least a T1, you know? <laughs> hmm. Preferably more, but not that big of, a, of an issue if it isn't. Okay, air filtration, we're 81%. Dr. Pepper. Wow. I just pour. It's going to take me 400. Do we have any more resource injectors? Mm, yes. Could you throw one in the air generator, please? If you have it on you. I don't have it on me. Oh. Got it. Mm, that sucks. What's wrong? That part that I've been carrying. Yeah. No longer has purpose. They just forgot to remove the actual part. Well, then we can just break it down. Just gives five alloys. Dang. Right now, we need that five alloy. Yeah, what it used to do is it would, um... See, it's get yeah, determined startup shutdown duration is what it says. Hmm. Well, regardless. All right, three point two an hour, not bad. I'm beginning uh, the pressurization of the fabrication module so that we, that's one less thing we'll have to do when we get back to the station. All right. All in all, good day. Yep. I, I would say so myself. Don't forget to reset your spawn point. 30 seconds. I already did. Okay. Not to mention, I would have to do it to log off. Yeah, true. Oh, this lag, though. Like, oh, my stream's lag is horrible. Seven, six, almost six o'clock. Five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty. Why are we so far away? That should have been a perfect jump. Uh, 
Hmm. Eh, I didn't. I, I didn't really line it up all that well, so maybe that was it. <clears throat> all right. But 17 kilometers away. I think as soon as we get back, if you want to go ahead and get off, you're more than welcome to. And then I'll go ahead okay. and get the fabricator, the fabricator module, all set up. Alrighty. Let's speed up just a bit. There we go. There we go. Why did it get dark all of a sudden? You gotta turn the ship off. Oh, okay. Turn the fusion reactor off too. All right, 10 kilometers in closing. All righty. Do, 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 8.4. Okay. All right, closing in on five kilometers. All right, four kilometers. Okay. I can see it. All right, two kilometers. Slows down a bit. Uh, 50 meters a second at this range is probably the best. Alright. Got everybody joining the stream right at the end. Alright, one kilometer away. Coming in a little bit quick. No okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, head up to the airlock. All right. About 500 meters away. Really wish I could see more of the station. There it is. That's what I'm looking for right there. I think. go I mean see more of the station that's all there is so far I know but it just it was weird oh, I'm not gonna be able to dock up with uh, this thing attached to the rear end No. No big deal. Alright. I am target matched. Nice. Go ahead and get the fabricator module all lined up. Of course, you didn't shut the door and repressurize it, or at least shut the door for me. No. Jerk. I gotta go. 
It's late. Yeah. I got work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you blow the airlock? Because we just ran out of all of our air. No. I closed it, depressurized it. Hmm. That's uh, weird. Why is the ship's pressure so low? Power up, repressurize the ship. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get in my crowd pod and take a nap. All right. Well, I'll see you later. All right. Thank you for having me on your stream. Always a pleasure. And I will talk with y'all later. See you later. CQM Command Module Captain Wraith Station Almost, and I don't talk a lot while I'm docking. It actually takes a lot of concentration. Tell if that's damage or just lights being weird. Oh, a little bit of damage. Dock up the ship and call it a day. Okay. Close and repressurize. Helps if I don't hit the stop button.
Just shut that down. We're good. I did that. I need the docking control camera. Airlock. Slow it down. Yeah, I know some people can do a you know high speed dock where it's you know almost redlining everything. I'm not gonna do that. I've had too many instances of rubber banding like that. Yeah, come on. There we go. And now we're secure. Let me go ahead and stand up. We can power down the ship. And uh, the start of the next stream will actually be us unloading the ship and all of that. And we're right there. Here we go. Probably should open that door up before I came up here. No big deal. Pair work time. We're going just a few minutes over. Thank everybody for joining me today. It has been an amazing little adventure. Right, get in our car up on. You're going to go to sleep. And then you guys have a wonderful day. <laughs>